Yo, what's up guys? Complies here. Today I'm going to be giving a little tutorial on how to play Strats Resolution in Apex Legends. Now reasons why you would want to play Strats Resolution is that your opponent's hitboxes appear wider and also you get slightly higher FPS due to there being less pixels on the screen. You can't really argue against the higher FPS because less pixels on the screen generally does mean better performance, but there are many people who believe that the stretched hitbox is only placebo effect, so it's best to try it out for yourself and see what your results are. We're going to hop out of Apex Legends now and I will show you how to make your game look like this. So now what you're going to want to do is go to your NVIDIA control panel, go to your display settings, then change resolution. From there, you hit customize, and this is where you'll create your custom resolution. So you go to the bottom, create custom resolution, and here's where you enter whatever your desired res is. Now I play on 1728 by 1080. Personally, what I believe that to be the best res for me, since 4.3, 1440 by 1080 is no longer supported, this is what I would recommend most people try out, and you can go a little bit more stretched or a little bit less, but any more than that, and you'll get black bars on the bottom and top of your screen. So I've entered in my res here and your refresh rate should already be imported. You click test, save as resolution, yes. Now we've created the custom resolution. If this is grayed out, all you have to do is check this box right here. Enable resolution is not exposed by the display. So then you click OK. And then we're just going to double check and make sure your resolution is updated. Display setting, scroll down to your display resolution. And you should see whatever res you entered show up right here. And mine did. So now we know that part is done. Next, what you're going to want to do is you have to go into your video config files. So now what we have to do is find your video config settings file. And to do that, you go to your search bar, type in saved games. This window will pop up. Click on respawn, apex, local, video config .txt. Now mine will look a little bit different just because I've already changed a bunch of my settings and have a custom video config. Now I will leave that in the description below if you guys want to drag that into yours. I believe this does give you slightly higher FPS. I know not all of the options are enabled still, but some of them do work and they will result in slightly better performance. So now that this is open, you want to find the setting called default res and default height and you can see that right here so whatever you entered in your custom resolution you enter that right here so mine would be 1728 and i didn't change the height so i leave that setting alone from here you click file save and then you want to make this read only as well so now that that is done we need to configure an auto exec file and to do that we're going to go back into file explorer this pc go to your c drive wherever your apex legends is downloaded Program Files, x86, Origin Games, Apex, CFG. Now some of you might not have an auto exec file already made. So if you don't have one already made, what you do, you copy the config default and then you paste it. And then all you do, change the name to auto exec. And I already have one made. I'm just showing you guys. And then that is done. So in this auto exec, I will leave the command in the description below. But then you open your auto exec. And this setting right here, that letterbox aspect goal and that letterbox aspect threshold, you need to change that so that your text on your screen aligns with the rest of the components. But when this is not correct, your ammo, your ammo types, your gun names will be off center a little bit. And to find your personal aspect, all you have to do is divide your width by your height of your resolution. So mine would be 1728 divided by 1080, which leaves us with 1.6. So I would change this to 1.6. And now we're done with that. I also have a bunch of custom commands in here as well that help with higher FPS. I will leave this in the description as well. If you don't want to go through any of the steps, you just want to import my settings. So here you hit save and then make sure you go to read only apply and now we're done with that step now what we're going to be doing is going into the origin launcher you go to your apex settings game properties advanced launch options and you want to paste this in right here plus exec auto exec and that will ensure that everything we just put into that auto exec runs properly once you paste that in you hit save and then you should be ready to go okay and as you can see we are in stretch resolution let's go to our settings just to confirm it yep 1728 by 1080 now, like I said, I will leave all of my custom files in the description below if you guys would just rather import those. And I, as I believe they are very good settings and they work for a lot of people. But yeah, this video helped you. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I also stream nearly every single day on twitch.tv slash implies. That link will be in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this, have a good day. Peace.